Sonic R is awesome. And if you don't like it, you're just a Mario Kart fanboy who knows that Sega was the true victor of the 90s console war. Go! I jest, of course, but I do have a soft spot for this game. I've seen a lot of harsh opinions of this game on the internet, and I felt it deserved at least one good review. Now, I'm not an idiot, I know this game's not perfect, but I don't think it's the disaster it's been made out to be. What is that? Is that my intro? That's terrible. Why would I use that? Forget the intro, let's just get straight to the biscuits. So Sonic R is a racing game with Sonic characters. Not the first of its type, or the last for that matter, but it's the only one that made the obvious choice of having the characters run rather than use a car or a Mike McFly hoverboard. I mean really, Sega. You have this character called Sonic, defined by his running speed, and when it comes time to have him and his other spry friends in a racing game, you have them drive! I thought this was silly ever since I was a kid. But Sonic R doesn't do that because of common sense and Saturn. Saturn shoot! Though interestingly, the characters do still handle like cars instead of characters on foot. Turning corners in this game is a pain because of how slowly they turn. Look at this. Where is that agility Sonic is known for? And the levels have the most deliberately sharp turns you could possibly devise in a racing game. It's like they were planning on having gameplay similar to Sonic Adventure at some point and built the tracks accordingly, but then decided to just go with tank controls last minute. <laughs> You're better off using the shoulder buttons for these insanely tight corners, or you can just avoid them entirely using one of the many shortcuts in the stages. Some of these shortcuts are so effective you'll likely never stick to the track again after you discover them. See how I ran around the loop the loop there? I do that every single time, and now so will you. I don't even remember what it looks like to do the loop the loop in this game, nor do I intend to remind myself. It's not exactly great track design. These shortcuts don't just give you an edge on the AI, they give you a massive unfair advantage. <laughs> And that's what I found fun about it. You're always discovering new shortcuts. It's not a question of can you win the race, it's a question of by how much. Extra points if you can overtake Amy twice. But actually winning races and beating the game will take you about 20 minutes, half an hour at most. The real content is trying to collect these token things and the Chaos Emeralds to unlock secret characters. You have to collect five tokens in each stage and then win the race to have an opportunity to race one of the secret characters. They're in such remote locations that collecting them and winning the race is a difficult yet rewarding challenge. If you beat the secret characters, which you will if you memorised every shortcut, that character will be unlocked. But I really have to question these unlockable characters they came up with. You see, this was before Sonic had, like, a billion characters. So they had to create some new ones for this game. Metal Sonic makes sense. But Metal Knuckles? That won't make sense, I suppose. Dr. Robotnik probably built it. But what on earth is the Tails doll? Besides a terrible creepypasta. There you go. There, there you go. I mentioned the creepypasta. Are you happy? Oh, Scary Tails is gonna come out of my TV and kill me, uh, uh. No, I'm not doing that, it's stupid. But honestly, what is the Tails doll? I never really questioned it when I was a kid, but I suppose it is out of place. Some Japanese game designer was asked to come up with a new playable character, and they just came up with this? Anyway, there's also that egg robot thing from Sonic 3. Kind of random, but uh, what are you gonna do? Oh, and there's also Super Sonic if you collect all the Chaos Emeralds. He is so fast that he breaks the game on every stage but the final one. Don't you know? All the characters control differently. Tails can fly, is the fastest to accelerate, but is generally slower than the rest of the characters. Sonic is a good all-rounder, but has no special abilities, which is usually the case in his non-racing games. And Knuckles is the second fastest, but can fly. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. There's also Amy, who is so terrible that no one has ever played as her, ever. This footage you see right here, the first time anyone has ever played as her. It took 20 years, but somebody had to do it, and I guess I must bear the responsibility. She is slow, but has a turbo, but otherwise is terrible all-round. Okay, so let's talk about the music. I'm gonna be honest, I love the music in this game. It's just really fun and cheesy 90s pop music. You can't get mad at this, come on. It adds so much life and character to the game, I can't help but love it. So Sonic R isn't a great game, or even a particularly good game, but I'll argue that it is a fun game. Oh Sonic R, I just can't stay mad at you. This game needs network matches. Sonic R does actually have a story. Not in the game itself, but it is told in the manual, which I will be reading from right now. The race is on. Sonic and Knuckles are enjoying a little time off from adventuring. The trip they have planned will be a nice, relaxing vacation. Or so they think. 
tail spots a huge sign alongside the road they are currently travelling on. It is a recruitment advertisement for the World Grand Prix. Sonic! Sonic! Look! There's going to be a huge race with all the best racers in the world! What a great opportunity for you to show your speed and compete with the other great runners. Sonic thinks for a moment. He's the world's fastest runner, but participating in races is not really his interest. Something on the sign, however, catches Sonic's eye, and he races off into the distance. Wait, Sonic! Wait for me! Tails shouted to his friend. Miles above the sign, a spy satellite focuses on Sonic and Tails. Dr. Robotnik, Sonic's arch enemy, snickers in delight. Now that you have fallen into my trap, Sonic, I will finally have the Chaos Emeralds and beat you at the same time with my new hover machine and these. Dr. Robotnik looks to his left, and the row of gleaming eyes gaze back at him. Nothing can go wrong. Ha 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 ha. Little does Sonic know that Dr. Robotnik has learned of the location of the Chaos Emeralds. Sonic's rival, Knuckles, has learned that Sonic will be participating in the very important race. Knuckles never turns down a chance to be around Sonic when the action starts. And Amy will be there too, after secretly overhearing Dr. Robotnik's plans. She also will be racing to find the Chaos Emeralds. How the hell did she overhear that? 